He wants to understand my United project, he's also about the manager, and so together with the club they are waiting to see how to proceed. Hello fellas, welcome back on the channel One Hour Sport here, as always, to keep you posted on the transfer market. Busy day, busy hours, the Champions League final is coming, let's jump into it together. So fellas, let me start this busy busy day to many things, with many things to recap on the transfer market, because Daichi Kamada is going to Crystal Palace after being one step away from extending his contract with Lazio, he's going to Palace, the here we go is coming, and the here we go is expected to arrive soon. Also for one more Brazilian talent, in this case in England, West Ham are closing in on a deal for Luis Gilham, winger born in 2006, coming from Palmeiras, the same club of William Estevão, who is going to Chelsea, the same club of Endrick, who is going to Real Madrid. Luis Gilham is close to West Ham, 30 million euros, 20% sell on close, everything is ready, but on the documents for West Ham, it's important to arrive till the end and get the green light. Important days also for managers, Jose Mourinho is the new manager of Fenerbahs, the special one is back with a two-year contract option for further season, so welcome back to Jose Mourinho after Roma chapter, he's now the new manager of Fenerbahs. Me Antonio Conte is a here we go waiting to sign the contract, he's the new manager of Napoli, the agreement is verbally done, all documents are in place, and so three-year contract for Antonio Conte at Napoli, a massive massive one for the club, and so done deal for Conte as new Napoli manager. But let's enter into many of the topics we have to discuss today, and let me start with Manchester United, two topics I wanted to mention with you in this video. The first one is about the centre-backs, because we know that Manchester United are actually busy with centre-backs, they have several names in their shortlist, we know they appreciate Bruntweight, we know they appreciate Todebone, we know they appreciate Bremer for example, it so there are several candidates for new Manchester United centre-back, but according to my information there, is also the concrete possibility for Manchester United to sign two centre-backs, because what we're hearing is that, in the recent days Manchester United also started inquiring for some left-footed centre-backs, so not only right-footed but could be also one more and could be left-footed, based on the outgoings, based on what they will decide to do in terms of budget, but Manchester United in the recent days have asked for left-footed centre-backs too, so keep an eye on this possibility for Manchester United to go for two centre-backs in the summer transfer window. When it's about left-footed we have to see who could be the candidates, for example I remember here on the channel, in October I told you that Gonzalo Inacio from Sporting is a player they've been following for a long time, Manchester United, Liverpool, Gen so let's see what's going to happen with the centre-backs, but Manchester United will be really busy on the market with that position. And in terms of Manchester United, I wanted to clarify something on Bruno Fernandes, guys. I can guarantee that the agent of Bruno Fernandes, Miguel Pino, I, this week and in the recent days has been around Europe to meet with really important clubs and discuss about the general situation of his clients, but also of Bruno Fernandes, obviously the most important one. We had some conversations at the moment we can't talk about negotiations, but just to understand the situation around Bruno, because Bruno remains fully committed to Man United, really happy at Man United, he wants to win and his message to Man United was pretty clear. I so Bruno's intention remains to win at Manchester United, but in order to make a final decision on his future he wants to understand the Man United project, he's also about the manager, and so together with the club they are waiting to see how to proceed. It doesn't mean that Bruno is leaving Man United, there is also the possibility to continue together, but at the moment what we can say is the reality facts, and the facts are that his agent was travelling around Europe to discuss also about Bruno with some important clubs. Now let's see what Man United will decide to do, what kind of project for the future they will present to Bruno, and we will understand more on his future really soon. Then guys, I wanted to mention something in terms of future also on Kylian Mbappé, because it's important to say that now we're entering into the Champions League final, and so for Real Madrid after the Champions League final it's going to be time to announce Kylian Mbappé. This is not new, we say that many many times the idea of Real Madrid is to announce Kylian Mbappé next week. This is the plan of the club, it doesn't mean the presentation at the Bernabeu, it means the official announcement of Real Madrid. It's still a very important point, a crucial point, a, a crucial step. But this is the schedule, we wait for the final steps, and now we respect Real Madrid moment as they are fully focused on the Champions League final. But what's important to say is that Real Madrid are preparing everything, so next week will be Kylian Mbappé week. Ta we wait for the formal steps, we respect Real Madrid moment, but then the Kylian Mbappé story is pretty clear with Real Madrid already preparing for the big moment of the announcement on Real Madrid. Let me mention once again the situation of Luka Modric, because for Luka Modric it's going to be a special final at Wembley, but the intention of Luka Modric with his contract still expiring at the end of June is clear, I can confirm that. Luka Modric wants to stay at Real Madrid, Luka Modric wants to play at Real Madrid, 
and those close to the club and those close to the player are still convinced that they will continue together after the Wembley final. Still waiting for one final meeting to discuss the details of the contract. Details is about the salary. Details is about what they want to do in terms of the new structure of the contract. But the intention of Luka Modric is to continue at Real Madrid. To he already informed Real Madrid two weeks ago that he was going to reject important proposals to continue at Real Madrid, and so this remains the intention for Luka Modric, who is expected to meet with Real Madrid after the Champions League final to complete the agreement and continue together. A Let me also clarify that Modric's future didn't impact in any case the future of Tony Cruz, and Tony Cruz's future didn't impact the future of Luka Modric, so it was not linked to each other, it was two completely different situations, and now Tony Cruz is retiring. A Luka Modric remains on his position with the intention to continue at Real Madrid. And to finish for today guys let me touch also on Victor Osiman, because we said Antonio Conte is going to be the new manager at Napoli, but it's really possible to see Victor Osiman in the summer transfer window and Napoli going for a different striker. What about Osiman? Let me clarify once again what I told you two days ago. Now Italian media are all reporting the same, but Chelsea have no intention to go for Victor Osimhen in the summer transfer window. This is what we gathered. Chelsea are informed on the release clause of Victor Osimhen. Chelsea have been showing interest in Osimhen in November, in December, but never been a possibility for Chelsea or any other club to sign Osimhen in the January transfer window. Also because he was in the AFCON and so fully focused on a national team, Napoli were never going to let him go in the January transfer window. And but let me clarify once again that Victor Osimhen, according to my information, as of today, then it might change during the summer, but is not the priority target for Chelsea as a striker, and is not even a negotiation at this point. Rumours of a swap deal. Osimhen and Lukaku were never something really considered by Chelsea. Chelsea want £38 million for Romelu Lukaku and have no intention to negotiate for Victor Osimhen at this point for different reasons, but the idea at Chelsea is pretty clear. The expectation for Victor Osimhen is still to leave the club, so keep an eye on potentially other clubs interested in Osimhen. Let Arsenal work, they are discussing internally about the striker, considering all the options they have, and they will decide what they want to do also based on budget. Arsenal don't want to spend completely crazy money, they want to spend smart money on the striker, and so this is why Arsenal have not decided anything at all on Victor Osimhen or any other target, yet it will be soon. And so guys, let me know your thoughts on all these stories, starting from Victor Osimhen, where should he go? Mbappé to Real Madrid, we are almost there. Luka Modric staying at Real Madrid, what's your feeling? But also Bruno Fernandes, stay or go, what's your point of view? And also, who is the centre-back you want to see at Man United here? In comments like this video, turn on the notification bell, subscribe to the channel, see you soon.